With all the focus on coronavirus, it's easy to overlook all the other diseases people are fighting. Well, this weekend, a Memphis woman will be celebrating the gift of life, her own. She'll do so by getting on her 35th flight to get a five-hour cancer treatment. Local 24 News anchor Rudy Williams says the flights for her rare cancer are what's keeping her alive. And it's all thanks to an organization that's been helping patients just like her for more than three decades. I have carcinoid cancer, and it's a very rare cancer. And I've been dealing with it since 2011. Uh, it's a cancer that it grows a big tumor, and it catches roots, and it, it attacks all your organs. The cancer has eaten through Carrie Smith's intestine, spread to her liver, and Smith's stomach is paralyzed. She's constantly bloated and feels like she's having a heart attack. Add to that diabetes as a result of the medicine she's taking, and that's just the beginning. You've heard Smith say she's battled this cancer for nearly 10 years. The first two years she worked, and local doctors said they couldn't help her. But she knew something had to give the day she ended up in the emergency room twice in the same day. I came home from the doctor's office and I was laying across the bed crying. And then this commercial came on about the Cancer Treatment Center of America in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They could help. So she began calling every cancer organization in the phone book to find a way to Tulsa. When I got to my last call, they said, well, why don't you try Miracle Flight? This for kids, but they may help you. Smith says it was a miracle of God. Nonprofit Miracle Flights has flown her and her husband to Oklahoma for life-saving treatment since 2013. Sunday will make Smith's 35th flight with Miracle Flights. I know I can't never repay them, but I just owe them my all because without them, I might not be still alive. Well, as Miracle Flights is celebrating Smith, the organization is celebrating its 35th year helping people get critical help. Carrie's taking her 35th flight on Sunday. We will continue to be with her as many times as she needs us. Rudy Williams, Local 24 News.